Hey, welcome to my very first studio. Outside these doors is the Strait of Malacca. You're, you are in Penang, Malaysia right now. Uh, that's the Gurney Drive in uh, Penang, North Penang. And uh, this was my first pottery studio. See right here on this door, right here, you go through that door, that's where my office was. This was a little apartment I rented the office out of. And uh, I would be on the computer and doing conference calls or emails or whatever. And then I would pull away to throw a few pots on the wheel and just kind of de-stress. And then I'd go back in there. And that's how this whole craziness that has changed my life got started. So I want to talk you through the three main things you need to start your pottery studio. This could be the corner of your garage. It could be a spare bedroom. It could be your back patio. But number one, I think you need your pottery wheel. I'm not going to say things like a sponge or a rib or a bucket. You know, I have a bucket over here. <clears throat> that stuff, th this is three pieces of equipment I think you need. I think you need one, a potter's wheel. Two, you need a place to wedge up your clay. So it could be like this, or it could be something that looks like this. This is what I used when we first moved back to America. This is just a two by 12 or a two by 10 that I covered with canvas. Now this here in Malaysia, this is just a four by eight sheet of plywood. I think I cut a foot off to get it in the door, four by seven feet, and then I covered it with canvas. And I wind up stapling the back of this one the same way I stapled this two by 10, just like you're pulling a canvas in a painting. You know, you pull it tight, you uh, staple the backside down just like that, and it's done. And that allows you to wedge, get practice wedging up your clay so you can uh, have balls of clay with no air in them. Not that you're firing at this point, but, um, but as a means of practicing and just getting the clay to the right consistency. And lastly, this. Shelves, I think, that one, I think these are a great model for shelves. Uh, I'll show you the ones here in my garage right now. Here's a picture of the ones in my garage. These are just dowel rods. Um, with holes cut in two by fours. The two by fours are mounted to the wall on the studs, and then these doubt rods go right in. Here in Malaysia, I just put these L brackets all in a row onto these. It's like a one by two. And then those one by twos are bolted into the cement wall with three bolts. <clears throat> so why do I think this is an important part of your studio when you're learning to throw? Because this becomes kind of like a leaderboard. It tells you what the score is. So how I use this was, I don't know how my order was, maybe it was up here, like my best ones, it kind of went in order and there was kind of a rank of, oh, this one's, oh, I just threw this one, this is way up here. Uh, that's not so good, I'll put it down here, but I wanted to fill up these racks and get my, my practice in. And I think in the first two or three months, I think I threw a couple hundred, maybe 300 pots that I, that I liked. You know, this down here is my kids' stuff because they really enjoyed uh, coming and playing with clay too. But I think this is an important thing so you can be learning from your own work. Now the first month, three months, six months, you're not making a whole lot that's worth firing. And if it is worth firing, that's okay. Actually, I wound up delivering all these pots to a friend of mine, Dr. Shamsu Muhammad, who was on the backside of this island. And, uh, and he wound up firing, for, firing them for me. So even though I didn't fire them in the first six months that I was throwing, I was getting all those reps, all that practice. So when I moved back to America, man, I bought a wheel and I started right away. And I think within six months of moving back, we started an LLC and started doing this for, for, uh, for a part-time job anyway at that point. But those are the three things that I think you need. You need your shelves, you need a wedging board, and you need your pottery wheel. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my first pottery studio, and I'll see you soon.